Hey guys, in here from Minecraft Kieran What, and today I'm gonna do another how to let's play video. So, today I thought about doing something a little bit different. Well, I am on my top because my laptop is like so. Um, I had to get my laptop on some or to someone else. So yeah, I am gonna type in PowerPoint now, and I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. All right, I am on. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to create your very own PowerPoint OS. So let's get straight to it. To start off, you will need a blank, a blank sheet make it feel like it's actually the screen is off and then what you have to do is go on join tools that and turn it black next one what you want to do is typing Acer or any other brand <coughs> logo and then just find the one that you want and when you're done pop it onto your um, PowerPoint. Next what you want to do is add animations to all of these so then they go in the same place. So you go on fade, get this, fade again, add this with previous, this is after previous, put that again with previous and then put this feed on it and then with previous so then it'll go together together now what you want to do is um, <coughs> set in buffering and then find the one you want add it onto your powerpoint presentation Next, just go back on fade after previous and do not do any more things. Now, go to um, a shape and also add it onto the page. So, then you need to go to drawing tools, like I said earlier. And then just add animation, just do fade, add it for you can ease so sorry, um my finmaji crash. So yeah, um you you keep on putting this after previous so then it goes automatically. Don't want it to go differently, so yeah. Next, go over to um, where that, and then click what whatever one you want. Just choose whichever one you want. I am going to choose this one, and then I'm going to tell you what I did. Basically, I put um, choose um, operating system, and then just. Put it, I put it down here. Yeah, then I typed in Windows 10 logo and then I searched it up. I used this one, copied it, and added it to the PowerPoint. Next, I pressed insert and add action. Next, I should do this. Ensure, so then, yeah. And um, since I am in Windows, I told you. Next, I searched in Custom OS logo, copied it, and added it to PowerPoint. Next, I added an action. Hyperlinks to next slide. Press. Okay, and my siblings were started to lag. I know some people are just like this. 
So I am going to buy it Oh, Now just um, press new slide. Easy to use. Next type in epic wallpapers. HD! Find the one that you want. Copy it. Open paint. Paste the wallpaper in. Oh no, that's much better. And also paste in the logo of your OS. Then copy it and paste it into the PowerPoint presentation. Just saying this works better on paint.net. So if you don't have paint.net, just um, do the wallpaper and then do the logo. So yeah. Next, add your... Um, Add your shape, your window that you are going to use. All you have to do is go on drawing tools and put on green and yeah, green and white, green on the outside, white on the inside. And then all you have to do is go on animations. Um, where is it? Fade. You have to um, put it on after previous and delay it a little bit. So then, yeah, it'll be easier. Now, what you want to do is open paint again, and then what you need to do is um, type in min max close buttons. Now, the one which um you would like well this might take a while so i will be right back right i picked myself one and i've made it a little menu with it you should do that too or you could stick with the old windows 7 and stuff like that i promise so i'm just gonna um paste it it's pretty cool homemade <coughs> and what I have, I have to do now is where that um, this well come to the um, what's it called again um, oh yeah cabin I'll install Flation. and I just have to resize it a little bit. Well, by, this, by a little bit, I mean a lot. I'm gonna get like 18 or something. Yeah, that's that's good enough. I'm gonna say, hmm. Oh yeah, click OK to continue, which is good, I'm just put that there, um, before I forget I should do, <coughs> I should um, start with the animations this with previous with previous and put this after you get the gist of it now what you have to do is find yourself a OK button which I'll just do that now right I found myself an OK button and I'll paste it on there now what you have to do is at hyperlink action to the next slide. You can use a sound if you like, so but I am going to. This is just gonna be a sound installation. So what you have to do is duplicate the slide. <coughs> and in order to get the developers icon, which is what you need for this um, installation bit, is go on to file and options 
Just wait for it to load. So, press enter, add quick access. There it is. Developer is here, so you can add that. So, yeah. It's not usually added into it, so then, yeah, it won't really be hacked or in any way. But I am going to use it for that. Now what you have to do is stretch this out a little bit, then we can add, and um, get rid of this, get rid of this. Now you can add an, a transition. What I like to do is a flash, so then it looks like, this looks pretty cool. See what I mean? <coughs> and these don't really need... Um, a, um, animation just saying so let's just get rid of those we've done pretty good on our um, presentation so far I am gonna sh show you what it looks like so far now you can just press carbon oh, what's now just wait for it to load And there we have it. Oh, the carbon installation. Just press that. And then <coughs> it's just like that. So I am going to let. I am, am going to do part two of this episode. So yeah. I'm going to just show you it one more time. Just to be so precise. <coughs> it is quite um, slow. It's, it is quite fast, to be honest. And there's a little highlighter on here. But it don't matter. And there we have it, the cabin installation. And then it just flashes. And this is where the installation starts. So, yeah, it's a pretty good ins installation. So, yeah, I will. That's about how, to, how much we have for this episode. Hopefully, you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see um, a new subscriber because we haven't had one in ages. So yeah, I will see you guys later.